Today's airplane engines are truly engineering marvels, but the future designs being developed today have the potential to revolutionize the airline industry. Hi, I'm Eli the Engineer. Take a flight with me into the fascinating world of jet engines. Modern aircraft are powered by gas turbine engines that compress, ignite, and expel air. This process produces a high-pressure exhaust that is used to drive rotating engine parts and produce thrust. Each aircraft, especially the massive commercial ones, requires massive engine power to achieve liftoff and flight. For example, a fully loaded Airbus A380 can weigh over 500 tons at takeoff. Due to its weight, the aircraft requires four huge engines totaling 300,000 pounds of thrust power. Each engine must propel the plane quickly enough to create enough lift to resist the pull of gravity. The process through which the engine generates thrust may be divided into four stages. The engine initially draws in a considerable volume of air via a fan and compressor. A typical commercial aircraft takes in 1.2 tons of air per second during takeoff. The compressor then pressurizes the air and delivers it to the combustion chamber. Inside the combustion chamber, the fuel is mixed with the air to produce the bang, which is responsible for the expansion that forces the air into the turbine. Once all of these stages are activated and working properly, the engine reaches the final stage, which is blowing the air and fuel out of the exhaust nozzle, providing thrust. CFM International has been a company that has stood out with its CFM 56 engine, which has been described as the dominant narrow-body engine of the future. However, they did not stop there. They created another engine that has blown everyone's minds, and this engine is possibly the most revolutionary of them all. In 2021, CFM announced their new RISE program, or the Revolutionary Innovation for Sustainable Engines. The company is currently developing the Open Rotor Engine, which is said to be a complete game-changer that will write a new chapter in aviation technology. This new engine may not be available for use for many years, but according to CFM International, it will be able to reduce fuel burn by up to 20%. It will be developed with composite fan blades, heat-resistant metal alloys, hybrid electric capability, and additive manufacturing. The RISE program comprises approximately 300 individual component modules as well as full engine constructions. When this engine is released, it will be appropriate for most aircraft, from both Boeing and Airbus, as a replacement for their older engine types. Keep an eye on this RISE engine because it could change modern aviation. A vital component for airlines is having a powerful and efficient engine that allows planes to fly longer distances while using less fuel. The General Electric GE9X is currently the engine industry leader. If you're a lover of aviation, you already know that General Electric has been a leader in aircraft engine manufacture, and their GE9X is no exception. This engine is not yet in commercial operation, but it is expected to be used on the future Boeing 777X, the newest addition to the Boeing fleet. It is based on the previously known GE90 model, which was used on the older 777 models. However, the GE9X is far more powerful than its predecessor. It can provide 134,300 pounds of thrust at full output, a 5% increase over the GE9115E model. GE claims that this engine is the most fuel-efficient engine ever produced, reducing fewer nitrogen oxides emissions than any other GE engine, and the engine is 10% more fuel-efficient than its predecessor without requiring a significant size increase due to the use of composite carbon fiber materials. The GE9X will make its debut in 2024, which means that in a year we will be able to see the full power and glory of this engine, which when joined with the 777, X will produce an aircraft that is unstoppable. Ilus Factoid The fastest commercial jet airplane ever built is the Concorde, which operated from 1976 to 2003. It could reach speeds of up to match 2.04 to 2000, 180 kilometers per hour or 1,354 miles per hour, more than twice the speed of sound. This allowed it to complete transatlantic flights in around 3.5 hours, compared to about 7 hours for conventional aircraft. My fellow engineering nerds, I have a gift for you. I partnered with Audible to get you a free book on the 50 greatest engineers of all time with a 30-day trial. Check the link in the first comment below. Thank you later. Rolls-Royce is another industry leader when it comes to aircraft engines. When the United States Air Force decided to replace the outdated engine on their B-52H Stratofortress fleet, Rolls-Royce immediately took advantage of the opportunity and developed an engine powerful enough to allow the B-52 to achieve maximum performance. 
The Rolls-Royce F-130 turbofan engine in a dual-pod configuration was developed and is set to replace the TF-33 engines currently used on the B-52. Rolls-Royce conducted tests on a dual-pod engine, confirming that the engine design and performance were a perfect fit for this fleet. The company has spent over 500,000 hours of digital engineering to further develop and refine the engine for the B-52. The engine can produce 17,000 pounds of thrust and is a variant of the BR-725 commercial engine. Rolls-Royce was given a contract in 2021 to replace the bomber fleet's aging engines with more than 600 new F-130 engines, which are now under testing and may continue for a few more months. However, Rolls-Royce believes that soon enough, each of the fascinating B-52 aircraft will be upgraded with this engine, allowing them to realize their full potential. Elis Factoid The largest jet airplane in the world is the Antonov N-225 Maria. It was originally built in the 1980s for the Soviet space program to transport the Buran spacecraft and is still in service today. It has a maximum takeoff weight of 1.4 million pounds and a wingspan of an incredible 290 feet. Pratt & Whitney are best known for the POU 1000G engine that powers the Airbus A2020 and the A320neo family, but six variants of this engine are all referred to as the GTF family. Today, the GTF are installed on over 1,000 aircraft, providing speed and power unlike any other. GTF stands for geared turbofan, and the company has stated that they have spent $10 billion on this technology to ensure it is the best on the market. What makes this engine unique is that the fans turn much slower than the turbine and compressor, giving it a 12 to 1 bypass ratio, the highest in the industry. This results in a reduction in fuel consumption, noise, and emissions. Each engine in this class can produce between 15,000 and 34,000 pounds of thrust. Pratt & Whitney believe that many improvements can still be made, but given the sheer power of the POE 1000G, you can only imagine how much better the newer versions of this engine will be. Elis Factoid In addition to commercial and military applications, jet engines are used in various other fields. For example, they power some helicopters, power boats, and even land speed record vehicles. The Thrust SSC, the first car to break the sound barrier, was powered by two jet engines and set a land speed record of 763 miles per hour in 1997. The world's largest engine ever produced is another addition to the world of aviation, the Rolls-Royce Ultrafan. This engine is already fully operational and ready for testing, but according to the company, it will eventually hit the skies and airliners, set to be developed in the 2030s. This turbofan engine is the first of what will become a whole family of engines ranging from 25,000 to 110,000 pounds of thrust. This massive engine is expected to provide a whopping 25% increase in efficiency. The 140-inch diameter fan is approximately 5% larger than the one on the GE9X, and there is presently no other turbofan engine larger than the ultrafan. The ultrafan operates a planetary power gearbox between the fan and the compressors at the back, allowing it to operate at a slower speed, while the compressors run at a higher speed. The gearbox handled 87,000 horsepower power in early tests, which is yet another aerospace record. The engineers ensured that a large volume of air goes around the compressor core and straight out the back of the engine, which reduces noise by an impressive 35% and gives the engine a significant boost in fuel efficiency. Elis Factoid The Boeing 747, also known as the Jumbo Jet, revolutionized air travel when it was introduced in 1969. It was the world's first wide-body commercial aircraft and could carry more passengers than any other plane at the time. The original 747 to 100 model could carry up to 366 passengers, while later versions such as the 747 to 8, can carry over 400 passengers. My fellow engineering nerds, this is Eli signing out for now. Don't forget to grab that free Audible book I have for you on the 50 greatest engineers of all time. Check the link in the first comment below. Thank me later. Eli signing out for now.